Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and this week we've been looking at student pens. It's that time of year, and you may still be trying to track down some of the things on that school supply list or a college supply list, or maybe you just really appreciate a light, durable, inexpensive, easy to refill fountain pen. Uh, some of these come with great nibs because they're from companies that make great nibs anyway, even on their cheapest pens. And so I want to share with you two more that come from one of those companies and that's Pilot. And I want to share the Pilot Varsity and the Petite One. I have reviewed this one and shown why I think it really should not be considered just a disposable pen. I actually refilled this one uh, in, if it took two minutes, it's only because it's Friday and I'm tired and I'm slow, right? Uh, really, really easy to do. And I will put a link up above uh, about how to do that and explain it a little further. And then there's the Petite One, which I've mentioned in a pocket pen review a long time ago, uh, but it's still one of my favorite go-to EDC fountain pens. Uh, it does have a small cartridge, but we'll get to all of those details. They do meet the criteria we're looking for. They're inexpensive. They're easily refillable. They are durable. They have great nibs. They write well. They're light. They're comfortable. They really have a lot going for them, just like a lot of other pens that I've shared with you this week. And I still have, after this, a couple to a few more that I really want to share with you, uh, including one that I used all day today that is uh, just a great, great pen. But first, let's deal with these two pilots. Okay, so the eagle-eyed among you will notice that this is an old Pilot Varsity. I think that I may have owned this for anywhere from seven to eight years. So they do look a little bit different. This, this design of the decoration on the barrel has completely changed. And I'll put a, a photo up of uh, what they look like now. But I bring that up too to tell you that's how durable this pen is. Uh, you can get them in packs of four, I think is what I got. And uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, to show you what I mean. This came with blue, purple, red, black. I think that's it. Uh, blue, purple, red, and black. And uh, they've been great pens. I still have two of them. Two of them are gone because they were before I realized how easy these are to refill. And so I actually I actually considered them disposable, which I, I don't do anymore. So, uh, great pen. What you get with this uh, is a good Pilot steel nib. Now, it's, you know, I mean, it's not like a Pilot Heritage or anything like that. But uh, if you are familiar with already this other pen, the, uh, the Pilot Petite, it's not the same nib, but it is quite similar. And you get a, a similar writing experience. So, uh, really not bad at all and especially for what is a disposable designed to be a, a disposable pen so uh, good pilot quality simple plastic feed what you do let me just uh, share this with you but i've done a video on it before that i'll put a link up here uh, to tell you about it is you simply you you can remove that nib pretty simply uh, it slides right off and then you will, and I, and I used paper towel tonight, uh, but you can also use like those rubber uh, sheets that you get for opening jars. I just don't know where that is since we moved uh, a couple of years ago. I haven't seen it. Uh, I used paper towels and you just pull the feet out. Be careful because, you know, you could destroy that. So just carefully, uh, maybe twist it a little back and forth until you, you pop that out. Then you simply eyedropper fill it or I use a an ink syringe and fill that pen with ink it it holds quite a bit and then pop the feed back in slide your nib back on clean up and you're ready to go that simple uh, there there are pens that are not disposable that are more complicated than that so really not a bad deal at all if you're willing to do that and want to keep reusing the pen for whatever reason whether that's economics or whether it is simply that you don't want to consider a pen disposable and you want to use it for all of its usable life which several years so far on uh, on a couple of these pilot varsities that I've had and uh, so I think they're I think they're great like I said, the design is going to be a little bit different in terms of, you know, what's printed on the barrel. But I think the overall uh, design and engineering of the pen is largely unchanged. Uh, it's a plastic cap. 
with a plastic clip. So, you know, it's a it's not as springy as a metal clip, not as tight, but it's functional and it works and mine hasn't broken. And uh, as long as you put back in it a color uh, similar to what's at the top, you'll know what color pen you, or what color ink you've got, and that's handy. I think I have in this one right now, I just, what did I put in? I put in uh, Noodler's Midnight Blue uh, into this one, so it's not gonna be quite that bright, but great pen uh, will last you a long time, longer if you're willing to refill it. They do hold a lot of ink, so you get a lot out of it on that original, and Pilot makes good ink. This is the Pilot Petite, and it's one of my favorite pens and has been uh, for years. I've had this one for a few years, and I love it. It's, it, probably, it probably is still my favorite pocket pen just because it is so versatile. It's durable plastic. I thought when I first got it, maybe this clip would be a little flimsy, and you could you know, stress it the wrong direction and break that, I'm sure, because of the kind of plastic it is. But this thing's been in my pocket with my keys, my pocket knife, uh, change, you know, all kinds of stuff. And it just takes it all. I mean, I haven't even worn the name off of the thing yet. That, that just blows my mind. You can see that there's, you know, the haze of scratches and wear within a pocket on this pen, but it's really held up well. My daughters and my wife had these too. My daughter had lost hers under her bed for nearly two years. Uh, I guess if she had known it was under the bed, it wouldn't have been lost, but that's that's where she finally found it while doing some uh, late summer spring cleaning, if that makes sense. And she finally found it, and hers is the orange one. And do you know, after, right at two years, she got the pen out, and I told her, you know, bring it, and I'm gonna clean it, a thorough cleaning with pen flush the whole bit, and we'll start over. And to both of our surprise, I took the cap off, and just for fun, tested it and the pen still worked. It had not dried out. Uh, so the ink was concentrated because some of the water had evaporated, but the pen wrote. That's ridiculous. Uh, I can't guarantee that would happen for you, but I have never opened this pen, even if I haven't used it for a month and had a hard start. It has been extremely reliable. In fact, I got one of these. I mentioned this in a video not that long ago. I got one of these out of a box that had been in the box for about two years, and it was the same way. Still wrote, still had ink, no problem, uh, totally reliable. So there you go, both of these pins, excellent. Now let's look at the design. So simple clip, they come in all kinds of colors. Uh, it's a short, thick pocket pin, but when you put the cap on and post it, this is what I love about it. You get a normal sized pin. And because it's a thicker one, for me, I, I kind of like that, it's a very comfortable pin. There are sections are very similar, and so there's a, a similar feel. It's very well balanced because of the design and because of its shortness, and just excellent. I realize I'm writing with that nib upside down, but I'm not really writing, it's just in the air. Anyway, excellent, excellent little pen, and like I said, very similar nib to that Varsity. This is a fine, right? I don't know, my glasses aren't working tonight. I think that says it's fine. If not, then I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. But uh, excellent little steel nib, simple, you know, similar plastic, similar or same uh, plastic feed, and uh, just does a great job. Very reliable. It's a demonstrator. Because they come in fun colors, they also have an ink that matches every color of the pen. You can get the whole set if you're like that, uh, and it's really pretty cool. So I really, I, I, I don't know. It's just a, a very inexpensive little plastic pocket pen that punches way above its weight and has a following for a really good reason. Now, let's flip the camera and get to two things. I have a notebook that I wanna share with you, and I have, which I forgot to mention earlier, and we're gonna do the writing test. Okay, so this is the notebook, and I mentioned this it, back when I, at the very beginning of this series, that uh, Caliber, which is a CVS or made for CVS brand, is one that's known among a lot of pen people as being really fountain pen friendly uh, composition book paper. And it's made in Vietnam, and this is uh, what you what you watch for. Uh, it's made in Vietnam, and. Uh, is just really, really good. In fact, let me show you. Obviously, we're gonna have the pen test, but I, when I first got this, just to test it, 
I wrote on it with every pen and every ink that I had loaded at the time. This was back in May. And so there's quite a variety here. You have Noodler's uh, Midnight, Monteverde Caribbean Blue, Pelican uh, Dark Green, J. Urban and Noodler's Mix, which I don't know why I did that. It was probably an accident. Uh, <laughs> J. Urban, uh, Eclat de Saphir, uh, the Muji black cartridge that comes with the pen, uh, just a whole lot of different inks, some brown ink, purple ink, green ink, blue ink, uh, and it went on and on. I really had, uh, there's Apache Sunset. I, I had, I had, what was this? 52. 52 pens I had ink. I might have a problem. I don't have nearly that many inked right now. I, I cleaned a lot of these out in June. But here's the impressive part about the paper. One is that, you know, it takes the, the ink and very well. There's no feathering uh, or anything like that. But I want you to look at the back side of the paper. Now you'll notice there's some Apache Sunset. That is not bleed through. See? There's no Apache on the first page. Uh, there's some Jinhao bright orange at the bottom, which also did not bleed through, although you can see it. So you get some uh, shadowing sort of uh, coming through or whatever the term is for that. I can't remember right now. Uh, but this is actually from over here. I didn't, I didn't wait long enough before I close it after testing uh, that FPR. Guru with the Apache Sunset. But you see what I'm saying. This is not coming through. I have much more expensive paper where things come through. There is on this side where it looks like on camera, it looks like that bled through. But here in person, there's maybe a little dot at the top of that O and a little bit right there and everything else is just the fact that you, you can see through there. Ghosting, that's the word I'm looking for. You can see it through the paper because it's not crazy, crazy thick, but it is good and smooth. This is a very wet uh, medium, the Wing Sung 698 with Mono Verde Yosemite Green. Love that pen, love that ink. And look at this. There is nothing, nothing. Just the normal ghosting that you're going to have in paper like this, but nothing. So I am really impressed with this notebook. I, I don't remember the price of it off the top of my head, but I will uh, put it up here so that you can have an idea. I'll put up the current price at the time of filming uh, for this. If you, if you can find it, you know, while it's uh, school supply sales, this I highly recommend if you need a notebook like that because fountain pen friendly, uh, very, very uh, low chance of bleed through with that many inks and that many pens. That's really quite good. Now, Let's get to the right. All right, so let's try the Pilot Petite One. The nib is just a little bit springy. It's a fine, and this is, I looked at that record since it was right here in this notebook. This is the Pilot Blue Black ink. So that gives you an idea of what that's going to look like. I'm going to be quiet. Somewhat dry. Just a good pen overall. Uh, like I say, the size of it is good and comfortable. It's light. It's extremely well balanced. It is quite durable. It's good at not drying out, which uh, somebody mentioned in the comments the other day that I needed to mention whether or not it dries out. I have not had that problem with this pen, period. Uh, so some of these, uh, maybe so, but, but not this one. So that is the Petite One writing sample, and I, I like it. It's a good, fine nib comfortable to write with and uh, comfortable for for all the work that you have to do if you're if you're having heavy writing days and then this is of course the pilot varsity and it is now can I read it it's a medium so if I said it fine earlier it's because I'm blind 
that is a medium nib. And that makes sense looking at it here on the paper because there is, I hope you can see on camera, there is a difference between the width of these lines, however slight it may be. Now this pen had in it a blue. I have, uh, and, I, and I don't know what that was. I did not uh, wash this all out. I put in uh, the Noodler's Midnight Blue and eventually that will take over. And no, I don't normally do that, but uh, for what I use this pen for, I wasn't worried about it. And whatever was in it was lighter than this. I think I like this better than either of the two. <laughs> Every now and then I do that and I, I come up with some good colors. I can't replicate them later, but uh, that's okay. very similar in their wetness and dryness. Similar in feel, uh, which is not surprising. They're the same company. They have similar nibs, similar feeds, similar grip sizes in the section, but really good. And this one is just as well balanced as the other. So if you're wanting capacity and you're choosing between these two, well, then I would go with the Varsity. If you're wanting compactness, then I would go with the Petite. Or if you just want something that, that kind of looks kind of neat, I would go with the Petite. I don't find the Varsity to be a very good looking pen at all. Uh, you, but that's not what I would, that's not what I use it for. So would I recommend it as a student pen? Yeah, I absolutely would. Especially if you're prone to losing things. If you're prone to the having things taken, uh, that's an issue at one of my daughter's school. They, you know, things go missing from lockers all the time. Um, usually more expensive things than a Pilot Varsity. Um, then, you know, that's the pen. Uh, get a knockabout pen that if you need a pen that you don't care about, uh, how it looks or if somebody takes it or if you drop it down a sewer grate, the Pilot Varsity is your pen. They probably will never hire me to put that on their copy. But it's true. That's why it's considered disposable. But it doesn't have to be disposed of if none of those things are happening to you. If this is sitting in an office drawer, or if you like me, I have a sacrificial pen cup on my desk. I don't tell people this. I probably shouldn't be putting it on YouTube. But those are pens that if people take them, it's just not as big a deal than, you know, the ones that I have other places that I'm not going to put on YouTube. So uh, this would be the pen that I would put in the sacrificial cup. Uh, not because I don't like it. But I, I really, really do, but because it is what it is. <laughs> so there you go. Great pens, inexpensive, great paper, inexpensive. If you're looking for a bargain, this was the video for you. These are tremendous bargains. Um, so were the Gin House, of course, too. But, you know, that Petite is the same price as a Gin House Shark sometimes cheaper. Uh, the Varsity works out to be a little bit cheaper. So really, you can get a quality Pilot pen, maybe cheaper than you think, and, and they're not really disposable. Great, great pens. God bless you all. If you were in the storm, uh, then know that our thoughts and prayers are with you, uh, and I hope that you have a great week and weekend. <music>